what we're going to do now is actually create our shares. Now you can create shares basically anywhere on your system. And that's really helpful for if you're not doing something like this, you can make a share just in your home directory on in your documents, whatever you want to do. But for this case, we're going to create a couple in this vault, which is what I'm going to have people be able to access. So the shares that I'm going to create, you can create whatever you want, do it however you want. But generally what I do is I have a data share and what that is going to do is be basically everything. It's going to be my movies, TV shows, Linux ISOs, backups, things like that, all are going to end up in this data folder. Another thing that I do is I create one called Docker. This is going to be where I store all my various Docker configurations. And for now, these are the only two I'm going to go with, but you could create another one for like projects, just do organize it however you would like to. And real quick on my host system here, if I go back over to network, go to WinNAS, you can see the folder is still empty. And what I'm gonna do is share these. So for example, the first one, let's right click on this, go to properties, and then over here we have sharing. So we are gonna to want to share this. Let's click on share. We have the permissions for admin. And this is probably really one of the only situations that I can think about where I'd actually use like uh, additional users on a Windows system is giving them various permissions in various shares. You can always add a user by clicking right here. You could say everybody. So everybody has access to view this, or you could give uh, view access specifically to an admin. Uh, one thing I'll note, let's go ahead and add everyone to this. Just as an example, you could see the permission levels. You could give them read, write, or just read, remove altogether. And of course the owner can do absolutely everything. So I'm just going to leave that as is and click on share. That way users on my network can see the files, access various media, but at the same time, not have the privileges to move things around, delete things, add things, so on and so forth. So here, your folder is shared. This is the location of the actual share. And you can see here, shared items aren't accessible when your computer is asleep. So again, like earlier, you're gonna to want to either disable sleep or enable the wake on land features. So we can hit done here and I'm gonna close this out and then we're gonna go ahead and share Docker. So if I go properties, go over to sharing, click on share, and this one I'm only gonna to give to myself because nobody else really needs to see or mess with my Docker configurations. So now it's on the Docker share. Additionally, there are advanced settings. So if I were advanced sharing settings, so if I click on this, you have your shares here and you can do a lot of things through this little window here. You can add more shares, limit the amount of users per share, add comments and get into more detail when it comes to the permissions here and all the users that have access to it. So I'm gonna cancel that out, cancel. It's already shared, so I'm gonna close that out. And now if I head over to the share on a separate computer, open it up, you can now see I have data and Docker. So now if I open up data, what's something I could put in here? Let's open a new tab, go over to my downloads. Hey, we got this hollow ISO, which is basically Steam OS. I'm gonna copy and paste that into my data share. It's gonna take just a little bit of time to get in there. And there we go, it is uploaded. So if I close this out, go back to our NAS, open up the data folder. Well, will you look at that?